So we've seen a situation where the Royal College of Nursing have very responsibly, before the strike's taken place, told the employer, the NHS, this is where we're going to be striking, and they're able to put the emergency cover in place. Unfortunately, we've been seeing a situation with the ambulance uh, unions where they refuse to provide that information. That leaves the army, who are driving the backups here, in a very difficult position, a postcode lottery if it comes to you having a heart attack or a, a stroke when there's a, a strike on. We cannot have that situation. And that's why I'm introducing laws for minimum safety levels. It's absolutely outrageous. The business secretary was allowed to just get away with this bollocks unchallenged. Unions representing health workers never strike in the absence of agreeing minimum service provision with employers on a voluntary and mutual basis. Something even the levelling up secretary Michael Gove has conceded. I'm conscious that uh, uh, ambulance workers, nurses and others, uh, when they do go on strike action, and I don't approve of it, um, I have to say, but they do take steps in order to ensure that they can uh, uh, look after the, the most urgent emergency cases. And listen to paramedic Gary Blackburn speaking to Sky News. Unite have worked extremely hard with North West Ambulance Service and Unite has worked with other ambulance trusts to ensure that we've got derogations in place. So we've had many, many meetings. We've got agreements for what category of patient will receive an ambulance. We've got a commitment that if there is a serious case that members of the ambulance service on this picket line will leave to go straight to that job. So it, we... we we do our very best to make sure that the public are not in danger. Thanks to a decade of cuts from the Conservative government. Ambulance response times are currently the worst on record. It's just one of the reasons ambulance workers are taking industrial action. And here is Unite General Secretary Sharon Graham. I have to tell you, the, the stuff that's been said about ambulance workers and them not covering minimum safety levels on disputes was a lie. And I'll, I'll say it very clearly, it was a lie. So if this legislation was just about public safety, it simply isn't needed. And who do we believe on this? The paramedics or a government that has repeatedly lied about practically everything? Here's Pat Cullen, General Secretary of the Royal College of Nursing. And that's what flies in the face of this um, further legislation that this government has um, decided to impose. Um, minimum staffing levels are not available for our patients or indeed our nurses on any day of the week. So to try and suggest that we're going to have minimum staffing levels on a day of industrial action is just so far removed from reality and in fact is a total insult both to our patients and to nurses. As for this... And that's why I'm introducing laws for minimum safety levels. How about pointing out here the government's anti-strike bill doesn't just apply to ambulance workers. It will rob millions of other UK workers of their democratic right to withdraw their labour, including teachers, forcing them to work against their will and allowing them to be sacked if they refuse. It's unthinkable. And to railroad this legislation through, Sunak is conning the public with this. I fully believe in the union's role in our society and the freedom for them to strike. But I also believe that that should be balanced with the right of ordinary working people to go about their lives free from significant disruption. And that's why we're going to bring forward new laws in common with countries like France, Italy, Spain and others. A claim he's repeated in Parliament many times. They're, they're present in France, in Italy, in Spain, in other countries like France, Spain, Italy. He's also sent out members of his government to repeat it. A number of trade unions have said that this um, will affect their members' human rights. What do you say to that? Look, I don't think that's, that's right. First of all, civilised European nations, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, they all have some form of minimum safety levels. Lots of other European countries have these. So when people say it's undemocratic, it is something that they have in France, they have in Italy, they have in Spain. But it's not true. Sunak wants our nurses, our teachers, our ambulance workers sacked if they refuse to comply with his bill. That's not the case in France, Italy and Spain. So when the government tells you this... They're, they're present in France, in Italy, in Spain... It's talking complete bollocks. And there are other material differences. In France, minimum service levels are agreed through negotiation with trade unions. But the government's minimum service bill will allow the business secretary to decide statutory minimum service levels without negotiation with trade unions. 
it effectively allows the business secretary to write minimum service regulations of an unknown kind and then force people to work against their will, robbing them of their democratic right to strike and allowing them to be sacked if they refuse. And when all else fails, the government is shamelessly blaming the workers themselves. The simple fact is this government has declared war on the working people of this country. Just at the very moment, workers are standing together and saying enough is enough. It wants to railroad through legislation to rob millions of their democratic right to strike, to force them to work against their will and allow them to be sacked if they refuse. Well, absolute bollocks to that.